Do you really enjoy your job or are you just doing it for the money? In today's video, we'll be going over exactly why it's important to know this answer. What's up boys and girls and welcome back to yet another banger. My name is Brandon Nichols and if you guys are new to the channel, I post content focused on upgrading your life as a teenager. All of my content is free and I do post daily so if you could make sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you don't only just help me out but you make sure that you stay up to date on every bit of content that I drop that could be potentially beneficial to you. All right, guys, without further ado, let's just get right into the video. So yes, guys, before we actually get into discovering if you do like your job or not, we first need to understand why it's important to have an answer to the question. The reason that it's important to find the answer to the question is because if you don't, then you shouldn't be working that job in the first place. Now, I understand if perhaps that is your only option to be working a job you may not like to be working at, but you should be taking that money and investing it into a side hustle or investing it, getting yourself closer to something that can make you a big amount of money that you love to be doing. Dragging yourself out of bed every single day just to go to a job where your boss may not like you and you may not even like your boss is something that you don't wanna be doing for the rest of your life, so don't put yourself in that position. Doing a job that you absolutely do not like is something that should only be temporary and used just for monetary gain. You should take that money then and invest it into something that you like to do that has the potential to make you a lot of money. Right, with that aside, let's actually go over if you actually like your job or not. So what are some signs that may point to you liking your job or not liking your job? All right, guys, the first and the obvious sign that we mentioned before is that you simply dread to wake up and you basically just dread to go to work every day. I'm not saying that just one day you dread to go to work, but I'm saying this is a reoccurring thing. Maybe you dread to go to work three out of the five days a week that's still points towards you not liking to go to your job. Many people dread to go to jobs that they hate, but they still go to these jobs, not only because it's giving them money, but it simply gives them security and basically gives them their only source of income. And with that only source of income, if you cut that off from them, well, then they have no money to bring in for their kids and for themselves in general. So that is why a lot of people work these jobs. But if you can smartly take some of that money and invest it into making money with a, something you love, you're going to find yourself making more money with something you love because you enjoy to do the work. You're going to be more motivated to do the work. And that's probably going to be leading to more consistency and discipline. If you can take that job, that one source of income, and then use that money, a little bit of that money to grow other side hustles and increase your income streams, then that's something that you can easily do. Therefore, you don't have that one job that you're relying on, you don't really need that job in the first place, then you can use those side hustles to transition out of your job and into one of those side hustles or all the ones that you have built up. Now, the next thing that you need to ask yourself is why am I working at this job right now? If your answer is anything other than it's interesting and you like it, then you may need to reconsider and truly ask yourself, what is this truly benefiting me? Is it just the money? Because in that case, you should find something that benefits you, happiness, on top of the money as well because you don't want a job that depresses you just because it gives you money you want a job that you're excited to go to every day because then you're gonna be a happier person in general all right guys that wraps it up for today's video i know it was a pretty brief one but i hope the message got to you pretty well and i really do hope you took something away from it if you guys did like the video make sure to leave a like comment what you'd like to see next or just any questions you may have for me and I would just love to hear any feedback you guys might have. I am constantly working on building a community of high value teenagers in my personal community at where I live and just on YouTube and social media as well. So if you could make sure to go show some love to all of my social media and just get this page bumping so we can reach as many people that need to see this content as possible. All right, guys, without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video as always. Peace.